Hi, welcome to the or my first stamp around the UK video of 2022. Hopefully, I'll do more. Now, for my video, I'm going to be using Crane of Fortune stamps for my One Sheet Wonder that I'm going to do, and I'm teaming that with Bamboo P2, which is in our annual catalogue. For the sake of brevity, I've already blocked up the stamps and cut out some uh, masks for the cranes. Oh, my ears are popping. And I'm all bunged up today. Never mind. Okay. Mm, save time. Right. Hopefully I won't get any camera freezes. Playing from Ernie's Alexa, own 32. stop. I think I will mute that. Yeah. Because we don't want any more interruptions from her. Thank you very much. Now for I want these birds spaced along. Not pressing too hard because these are the cling stamps. And because they're rubber, they've got spongy bits. Now we want about three at the top, three at the bottom. And once I've done the birds, I want to mask them off so that. And I think I'll do some facing this way. So I've got a mixture of landscape and portrait cards. So, put that there. Pop that there. And uh, one more at the top here. Pop that there. Right. Okay. No, it looks a bit confusing at the moment. But remember, when you want to cut it out, you're going to want to cut along these bits and have at least one bed on each card. So, now that's done, I can put that out of the way so I don't lean on it. Uh, where's my stickies on special spray? Right, I've got this fantastic stick and spray which will help hold my masks in place. It's basically post it note glue in a can. Give it a good old shake. And you want one of each. And the reason I've done this on grid paper is so that I can easily see where my masks are. So you only need a tiny bit on each mask. But I wanted the birds to be in the foreground. And not any flowers to be behind. Sorry. Two, three, you'll see what I mean in a minute. This means that any florals and bamboos we put in, it'll keep the, the cranes nice and up front. So I turn that round and just lay these over. And the good thing about these, this is I'll be able to just peel these off, keep them in a folder, and use them for next time because it's literally post it note glue. It's fabulous. 
If you haven't got a can of this stuff, I suggest you get some because it is wondrous. Then five. Lay that down carefully. And then last but not least. go because I'm certain you did not want to sit and watch me cut out these masks right there we go nice and neat okay next bit I think we'll do the chrysanthemums oh that isn't quite right is it I think I might need to tweak where I put this one gently peel it off there we are there we go Okay, so now any blending or florals we put in, the cranes are nice and safe. Okay, chrysanthemums next. Now, what colour should I do those in? I think you'll do those in evening evergreen. just so we have a nice bold background for those lovely cranes now oh, we're going to be using second and third generation stamping as well just to create a little bit of depth and don't worry I so, say one two and three I'm going to do the e one of those on each of the cranes one two and one at the top there Dab there, oh, and we could use co actually. I think we'll use coastal cabana on the ones or calypso coral. Mm. One, two, and three. One at the top. just to vary the pattern a little bit so we'll pop that away for the moment and give that stamp a little bit of a clean Ugh. oh that's a bit stiff I want to shove some vaseline in the grooves of that one oh, where's my plug there it is there's my stamping tool my scrubby tool yeah, that's good and done. There we go. Okay, I'll put that to one side now. Give it a bit of a clean. I think we'll use some. Actually, no, we'll use some of the. Calypso coral rather than the coastal cabana. And we'll do the same sort of thing just to get a slightly different feel. So, one. 
for two and three. Then again, oh, I love that combination, the grey and the pink together, it's just delicious. Okay, then we want one, two, and one at the top there, three. Okay. Next up, I think we are needing some bamboo. Put that to one side now, and that one. Okay. For this one, I'm actually going to reverse use the soft succulent with the thinner of the bamboo stems. So we've got a little bit of a little hint of green in this one. Oh, a tiny bit of shadow there. Don't worry about that. You can always stick a sentiment over it. Stick one, two, and three. Then we'll go the same again here. So we've got a nice repeating pattern, and you'll get about six cards out of this. One, two, and three. Okay. Right. I'm thinking we do the same, but with one stem of the wider bamboo in the same colour at the bottom because that's quite a bold colour it needs something to settle it down oh getting my mouse wire in my ink so I'm just going to go turn it round so, it's, so that the thing is And I literally want just one single cane over there. On each of the birds. Again in the soft succulent. So this is going to be more muted than the others. Uh, 
okay. You see, it doesn't matter that the bird is being covered up because, again, we want the crane in the foreground. Okay, that's that. And we've done with the soft succulents. We're done with the grey, I think, unless we want grey leaves. Now, what to do with this? Oh, I'm getting hair in my mouth. Right, that's the dragonflies. Yeah, we'll use the coastal cabana for, or the calypso coral for the dragonflies. I will get this right. I've got my tongue in my mouth. Sorry. Dot these around. it's ready you can chop it up and turn it into cards it's definitely easier to do your backgrounds this way round okay let's stick some dragonflies in this one let's have two down here I want to keep these fairly bold so where we've only used one stem here I'm just going to keep one stem one set of dragonflies on this one and yeah I'll pop them up there Okay, next is the leaves. We want some foliage, don't we? I think this is where we bring the grey granite back in. Keeping it fairly bold as well down there. A bit more foliage. So that's standing in front of the bamboo stems. And then here we go. So I've got bamboo stems on each of those. I'll we'll use the uh, other ones on this one. So. Let's 
a really simple background. Okay. Are we ready to take these masks off now? I think we might be. Carefully peeling them off because obviously you're going to want to be able to use these again. Oh, nearly tore that. Now you can just put them on an A4 sheet in a ring binder and use them again. Oh, don't want to tear the paper. Remember, this stuff is still fairly sticky. So take care when you peel them off because otherwise you will tear your paper. So, oh, come on. I can't get my nail underneath it. Here we go. Four. Five. Careful, careful. Five. And six. Oh, I've just pulled its head off. So this mask is going to be going in the bin. Because I I managed to pull its head off. Oh dear. Right. So we now have our six pretty backgrounds ready to be all chopped up. It looks a bit of a mess now, but trust me. Let's tidy this up a bit. Lid on inks. Out the way. Where's my trimmer gone? Oh, oh, oh. So, I told you it was only going to be a quick one. Now, we want as much of that on this side of the paper as possible. So, that's about five and a half. That'll be all right. So, we know that will fit on a standard C6 card. Okay. Keeping that as close. So four and a half. Oh, that's four. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll fit. So we've got one. There's room for a sentiment up at the top. Four. Oh dear, chops his wings off, doesn't matter. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So we've got our three grey backgrounds. Hold that up for you. And now our three nice, brightly colourful cup. And so again, we want this to be. And four. Now, 
see I went under that I want to just take a tiny sliver of that off so I don't get that okay so we've got dragonflies we can stick something shiny like a pebble under that One colourful one, two colourful ones, so let's give, trim that bit off. Because I slightly misjudged it. And then take that off there. Get rid of that shadow. So that's at six. So we want to take that down. So it's not quite six. So five and a half. So we're not missing dragonfly wings. There we go. And then that's already at five and a half on oh, that one. Ideally, I don't want to cut too much of that beautiful flower off, so we'll do it this way around. There we go. And then I will take my dragonfly stamp, and I'm going to replace those dragonflies that I just chopped off. Because that was silly. Ah. <coughs> I love the... Calypso Coral and, and Coastal Cabana combination. There we go. Pop them back in. So there we go. We've got six lovely card backgrounds ready to be used and all trimmed to the right size for card basics and card backgrounds thank you very much for tuning in and I will see you next time bye bye